So, an important thing about this workout is you'll notice that we don't have to move around a lot. It's very simple exercises that you can do anywhere. You can do them in a home gym if you have to. You can do them in a big gym. You can really do them in your house too. Um, so that's a, that's a good part of this easy workout for unsupersized me. Okay, so we have here the unsupersized me workout one, the upper body workout. Danny Noble here, star of unsupersized me two, has lost 35 pounds in the first month. Um, Tracy Ryan all, all, almost lost about the same amount in the first month doing this, this very here workout. So we're going to do the upper body first today. So we're going to demonstrate the upper body workout for you. So we're going to start off with a plank. Come on down. I played this morning. Elbow plank. Let me get all situated for the camera so we don't have no full movements going on anywhere. All right, so the idea behind the plank is this is working on your core. Go ahead, Danny. You want his hips. See his hips are level here with his shoulders. This works on your entire core strength. The core is from the shoulders down to the hip area. That's the entire core. This helps with a lot of lower back problems also. So you want to try to get in as much as you can. Um, doesn't matter if you get 20 seconds, 30 seconds. The important thing is that you go for almost as long as you can. Danny's first time, he got a minute 30. Now he's up to around two minutes. Yeah. So. And I can tell you'll get instant results out of this. For the more you do it, the more results you'll get. So this is part one, set one. He's gonna do one minute today. Now, if you can't do this, this is too hard for you. We also have the beginner's version, which is, okay, that's one minute, good Danny. It's off the knees, so Danny, go ahead and plank forward, and you're gonna go off your knees and set your toes, okay? Now, this may look a lot easier, it's actually, can you still feel that in your abdomen? Oh yeah, for sure, and you, yeah. can, you can feel it in the, the butt region too. <laughs> yep. All right, good, so um, that's the beginner plank. Do that if you can't do the one off your toes, but try to do the one off your toes first. Okay, now the first exercise, push-ups that he's going to do. You want to make sure, coming down, then all the way, and then back up. Now, if you have any problems with this exercise, some people aren't strong enough to do it, most people aren't strong enough to do it, you're going to come off your knees right there. Just like that. How does that look, Dan? Perfect, perfect. Quality form? Quality. Beginner push up. If it's too hard for you, do the full range push up. Notice, notice how he's coming off his knees. So you want to try to get 8 to 12 reps. Oh, there you go. He has 8 to 12 reps in the push ups. And get it. And it still does a lot of good work, trust me. Good. Alright. Our next exercise is our back. So, we just did the chest with the press. Now we're going to do the back with a pull. Anytime you do a pull, you're, you're activating the whole back area. So, Danny's going to start off with rows. Okay? So, he's going to do 8 to 12 reps. He's going to get right here. You want to turn your body as you come up. Turn your body as you come up. And I can tell you now, this is a really easy one to do at home too because you can just grab the couch. You can grab anything that's got a ton of weight on it too. That's right. You can use a milk jug, whatever you can use at the house. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's get 12 in. You got nine, 10, 11. All right, we're on the left arm now. Go ahead, wrap it out, Danny. So, if it's too easy for you, if you're getting to 12 real easy, go up and wait, okay? Um, next, we're going to do our shoulders, overhead presses. Danny's going to use the 12s. This is Danny's weakest area. He's gotten a lot better with this, but it is his weakest area. So, 
We want to think about bent legs, strong stance, nice and wide. And then he's going to press straight up. Okay? It's going to work your shoulders, which is our third biggest muscle in the upper body. So let's turn our hands in right here. And go ahead, man. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Now, to me, I don't know about you guys, that looks a little easy, though. So I think Danny's going to have to go up and wait. For right. sure. So, now we're going back down. Round two. Plank again. We're going to do a little variation on our planks so you guys can get some different planks. This time his hands are going to be inside, feet are outside. And I'm going to let you know that I have a bad back with some vertebrae that's been smashed and different things in a an accident and this has really helped me on my everyday you know just being able to get out of bed and different things ready and wider stance on the leg team. there we go good okay notice i want his chest right over his hands he's gonna push forward that's a nice looking plank there you can see danny's already a pro <laughs> holding now this is one of the tougher planks you're really going to feel it in your chest your chest is going to be flexed also, he's feeling his arms, abs right now. It's working this whole entire region of the body. Okay? This one is probably, you're probably going to be able to do less time than the elbows. That's okay. Just trying to really push our limits. Let's get 10 more seconds, Dan. You see Dan's shaking a little bit? That's what I like to see. He's not afraid to push it in here. And that's why he's had such good results. Okay, and good, Danny. Down. Let's get back to our push ups. Okay, so we're around our round two. What exercise is it? What are we working? Chest, baby, chest. Big chest. Let's get 12, Danny. And good. Nice work. And I can tell you, even off of knees, it's a lot of work on it. What knees helps me to do is get better form and make sure that I do everything perfect so eventually when my muscles get stronger, after a couple more months, I'll be able to do them perfect from a regular position also. Mm -hmm. All right, Danny. Let's get it. 12 reps. Two, three. Ten, 11, and 12. Good work. And what part are we working? Back. Now he's on his back. So now Danny, when he first started these, his back would arch backwards a little bit because he wasn't strong in, in his lower back area, but now he's gotten better, so he's not doing that anymore. Make sure you get that bend in the knees, Danny. Good. Good. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and yes. Now, notice also one other tip. We move fast. We move fast but we're working different muscle groups. So you'll work your chest, you go straight into your back, gives your chest time to recover. The fast movement, what does that do? It burns calories, yes. baby. It definitely it helps, helps out. Don't supersize with... you. <laughs> Cardio is king here. All right. Now we're on to round three, upper body. We're gonna do a different plank. So this is the push-up plank. Dan's going to get down, hands out wide, feet in close. Ready? And go. Okay. Now you have to be careful. We're on the third plank here. So, usually on round three, you get a little bit tired, starting to get a little more fatigued. you got to watch to make sure your hips don't drop low. You'll feel a little stress on your lower back if your hips drop down. Also, you don't want to let your butt get up too high in the air because that means you're not working enough. So you have to watch yourself. Um, if you have uh, 
you have a mirror available to you, that's always helpful. Or if you have a workout partner, they can watch. But you're shooting for hips being the same level as your back here. Okay. Drop down just a little bit lower. There we go, Dan. That's perfect. His butt was getting a little bit high there. Four, three, two, one. Good, Dan. Okay, down straight. Knee push ups. We're going into hyper speed now, baby. Get those 12. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and nine. Good work. Okay, come on up, Danny. Straight to All right, here we go. Fairly good. You're moving up. Fairly. All right, buddy, let's go. Roll it. Round three. Oh man, we gotta start that lawnmower, baby. I don't hear it cranking. I don't hear it cranking. You hear it cranking out there? <laughs> oh, there he goes. He's got it now. I think he started. Good bunny, good bunny, buddy. Switch it up. Crank it again with that left. Make sure that body turns down. Work, baby, work. Let's get it. That's right, we want you two out there to be working. Everybody's working here. Well, good. We've done that nicely. Now, we're going to get into our next shoulder presses. Danny's going up again. 20s. This guy just keeps getting better and better. When I started this, it was with fives. If that, now it's up to 20s. All right, baby, let's work it. Here we go. Go ahead and press Work. Two, turn those hands a little bit, Five, bend your knees. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Perfect. All right, I got back there to spot him a little bit. He didn't really need it. You notice he was getting a little more tired. Now he's on the right foot. We can see that. He's starting to run out of gas, and that's where you want to be too. Okay, so we worked our chest with our push ups, we worked our back with our rows, worked our shoulders with our red presses, and we worked our core with our planks. Now we're going to get on the arm isolation, okay? So, let's get our straight bar for Danny. Starting off, curls. Okay, let's face out here. Okay. Right there to the side. Good. Okay, he's going to keep his back nice and straight. His legs going to be bent. He's just going to curl in. He's going to get our biceps. Two. Good, Danny. Three. Four. Five, six straight up and down, keep that back straight. Nine, come back a little bit. There we go. Ten, two, eleven, and twelve. What do we say out there, fans? Yeah, I think you need to go up. That's what you were thinking. But you definitely don't want to start swinging. I have a tendency to swing sometimes. Yep. Everybody does. That's what happens when you get tired. So, if you start to find yourself swinging, just go down and wait. Now we got to go on to our triceps. So let's start Danny with our 20 pounder, 12 reps. So he's going to take it behind his head right here. Elbows in, elbows stay in. Go ahead, Danny. One. Good. Notice how his elbows are staying in. Let's get a get him from the front, for us. Watch out for this. Elbows stay in, Danny. Elbows stay forward. There we go. Two and. Nice. Good. How was that weight, Danny? We probably should go up. Yeah. He knows. He knows. All right. Let's I got to be struggling on the last few. If not, then I need to be going up. All right. Let's go into our next round of curls, Danny. Go ahead and crank it up. He's on 45 now, he's keeping his form though. Nice. How was that, Dan? That was right about on right there. Pressure. All right. Let's get back on our 30 pound right here. No, let's, you know what? Let's go 25 first. This came from 20. 
Okay. I don't know, I'm going to pick something yeah. up over here. Alright, elbows in, elbows in. You better. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Again, we're on to round three. We're going to stay with the same weight. Same weight. Ready, Danny? Yeah. 45, okay? circuit of all our upper body parts, we're going to mix in a cardio set. So, we're going to start with jumping jacks first. Jumping jacks is a nice, easy exercise to do that you can do anywhere. Let's go ahead and we're going to do 30 seconds of jumping jacks. Ready? And go. Nice and big, nice wider, a little wider when you're jumping. Good. Keep rolling. Cardio sets in between increase your fat burn. Increase your fat burn. So if you are one circuit of upper body exercises, this is your cardio set. For the beginner level, 30 seconds is good for a high intensity set. Okay, exercise number two. Especially for you people that have any kind of knee issues, we're gonna do air boxing, okay? So we're gonna bend. Let me get down here and do this one with Dan. He likes it when I get down and do it one time. Let's go, baby. We're going to get down. We're going to punch. Dan, you come with a knockout right now? Absolutely. That's the only way we punch. Five, four, three, two. All right, sink down low, baby. Come on, we got to get the hyper speed, baby. Got them on the ground. Five. Right now, we're punching out those calories, baby. Four, three, two, one. Good work. All right, cardio exercise number two. Exercise number three, we're just gonna do a little jog in place. Something you can do anywhere you want. Okay, ready, set, let's go. You know, if you're feeling good, so be nice and high. Yeah, push, baby, push it through. Three, two, one. Good. All right. That concludes the workout. So now what are you going to do? We're going to go walk. Okay? I want you to get uh, 20 to 30 minutes in for beginners. If you're feeling good, though, what does Danny get? Unsupersized me? An uh, hour. One hour of cardio a day. Minimal. Okay? Depending on where you are. 20 to 30 minutes if you're just starting and you feel like you can't get any more. 20 to 30 minutes is okay. You can do an hour though and you're really serious about your weight loss, an hour is where you need to be. Okay. When I was in the beginning and I couldn't only do a half an hour, I would break it up. That's what I would do. I would try to do 30 in the morning and 
30 in the evening or in the middle of the day or whatever. Right. He's still getting his hour in now. So, so two different sessions, okay? So let's get let's get a little bit more walking. Okay. Walk. tell you through the through the adversity of my knee pains and everything Curtis did a great job with just adjusting the workout and things that I've been doing to take care of it and not put any more strain than needs to be on it. That's right all the first leg workouts we're gonna do are not gonna be impact on the knees a lot of times people that are overweight have a lot of pressure down on those knees so all the exercises we choose are not going to be high impact on the knees. All right. That's good, baby. Good work. All right, now just get us going back from the back. Try to get a walking buddy or a running buddy that's going to go with you. You're going to be a lot more motivated to push yourself, and you're always going to go if you have a work have a workout buddy. So.